try a chapter tag by uh, Elizabeth. So I am. I decided to do my uh, March books. I uh, remember I'm reading thrillers and uh, mystery novels. So I took the first category, which was uh, read a book, first book in a series. So I went on all my shelves and I picked out five books. And what I'm going to do is read chapter one of each one and come back and tell you a little bit about the book. And then at the end, I will tell you which one I will be physically reading afterwards. So, so let's see. I'll be back with my five books. <laughs> okay, the first book I chose was a author that I read years and years ago. Um, he used to be, I don't remember what books I read, but I did read a few of his books. Um, he is a very popular author. This book that I chose was uh, published in 2003, which was the year before my um, kids were born. Uh, the book, the author's name is Dean Koontz, and I chose the first book of his series called Odd Thomas, and I read the first chapter. Now, I have a lot of his books. I just, um, I read him before, as I said, and I didn't know anything about this book before I read chapter one. So um, I read chapter one. It's kind of long. It has um, 16 pages in chapter one. Uh, we meet a man named Todd, Odd. <laughs> I'm sorry. His name is Odd. <laughs> yeah, there was some kind of, um, uh, his mother did some kind of typo on his um, birth certificate. So his name is Odd. And his last name is Thomas. He is 20 years old. Um, and he um, is telling the story as if you're actually sitting next to him. So the, the writing is really, really good. Um, I'm enjoying it. He's engrossing me into the story. Um, so you meet him. He's 20 years old, as I said. And then you meet a couple of other characters. I don't know if some of them are important, but I think this one is important. He meets a girl named Penny in his apartment building, and she is 12 years old. And he um, goes out with her and walks down the street, and um, she picks up a shell and puts it to her ear, and she hears the ocean. Well, he picks up the shell and puts it to his ear, and he uh, hears bad things coming. Yeah, so I don't know if he has some psychic ability or whatnot. So he's still with this little girl, and um, a car comes by, and his um, he knows this person, and his name is Harlow. I gotta look it up. His name is Harlow, and the person in the car. And he, the person in the car gets out of the car, and he sits in the car, and he starts telling Harlow uh, these strange things that he um, has blood on him, that he killed somebody, that he he um, carries blood around, and really, really strange stuff. And Harlow's like, how do you know all this? Like, you know what I mean? So I think that Odd has some psychic ability where he can either tell the future or he can tell the past or something like that. Something strange is going on. I have no idea. Um, and then um, he says at the end of chapter one, something bad is going to happen to Penny. So, yeah. So I'm intrigued to read on because I want to know because this is really odd, like, odd what I'm reading, and yeah, so we'll see. But I did not read the synopsis, so I'm just telling you about chapter one, and yeah, <laughs> so that's this one. Okay, book number two, I decided to pick an author that I haven't read before. I have a series, I think they're mystery. Um, so I picked up Heather Graham, um, I think she writes mysteries. <laughs> I'm hoping. I picked up the first book of a series, and the first book is called Haunted. So this is the first book. The second book is called Ghost Walk, and the third book is called Vision. So I own all three, and um, I decided to pick this up, Haunted, and read this one. So I read 20 pages, which is the prologue, and wow, this is amazing, okay? I'm just going to tell you, I didn't read the back, I don't know anything about it, except for what I read the prologue, and I'll tell you about that. 
We meet a girl named uh, Darcy. She is um, 18 years old and in high school. Um, she w liked this boy. His name is Hunter. Um, apparently, he, Hunter didn't didn't like her, and he was uh, dating other people. Uh, remember, they're in high school, and they're going to the prom. So, her mom says to her, "It's it's the the." The prom is coming up, you need a date, and she wanted to go with Hunter, but she couldn't go with Hunter because he chose somebody else. Uh, so her mom says, why don't you go with Josh, the boy, up, up the street? So um, so she asked Josh to go. Now, there's a problem with Josh. Josh is a nerd. He's a computer nerd, um, and he gets bullied in school. Um, the kids don't like him, whatever, and they bully him, and there is bullying. In the 20 pages that I read, a lot happened, so... Okay, so he gets bullied, and the day of the prom, and somehow uh, Josh has some ability where he can see the future. Yeah, it, I felt like I was reading Odd Thomas again, but anyway. Um, so he sees the future, but um, the day of the prom, they go in the prom, and they're in the car, and now there's... Um, this is part where I don't like. Uh, there's drinking and drugs involved, and they're this they're seniors, so they're 18 years old, so this underage drinking, and there's driving, and uh, Darcy and Josh are in the car, and uh, they're driving, and uh, the bully. Um, there's a boy, a boy named Mike, he's a bully, and he was bullying Josh. He's in another car, and right next to him is sitting Hunter, which is the the boy that she wanted to go with and there is a car crash 20 pages <laughs> car crash already I was like oh my god oh my god anyway two of the characters die in the first 20 pages yeah <laughs> very very sad very very sad I'm actually getting tears I just read it like 10 minutes ago and I'm like oh my god um so Darcy lives and Hunter lives so just to let you know Apparently, Josh's ability to see the future is going into Darcy, and Darcy can see the future, and she's having these dreams about Josh, and yeah, so talking about ghosts and stuff and like that. So this is very intriguing. I may pick this up and read it maybe for my, um, I have other books that I want to choose for, um, books and series so this might be my author that I might choose for um, read a first author that you haven't read before so yeah so I'm really intriguing I want to see what's going on um, yeah it was very fast-paced it kept me on my edge of my seat I was actually almost crying when the car crash happened yeah they have a funeral it's like in 20 pages Wow <laughs> so yeah so this might be an option so Okay, on to book number three. This one is 10 pages long. Uh, it was a very fast read. It's lots of dialogue. I love dialogue, so I read this very quickly. Now, uh, <laughs> it's a very popular book. Um, it has lots of movies out. And I have not read it yet, so yeah. And I did watch the movie, so I know a little bit. Actually, I read, watched the second movie, because this one is I don't know if there is a movie for this one but anyway uh, the author is Thomas Harris and the book that I picked up is Red Dragon so yeah <laughs> so I picked this up um, I know I saw the movie Silence of the Lambs so I know about it um, but this one I don't know if there's a movie for Red Dragon I did not see Red Dragon so um, yeah so the first chapter, I'm just going to share with you what I read in the first chapter. The first chapter is about this guy who, um, uh, he is a detective. His name, uh, he's an FBI agent. Uh, his name is Will Graham. And he, um, he traps people like he chases serial killers and all that. He's the one who uh, got Hannibal Lecter in jail. So, uh, you meet him, and uh, this guy named Crawford, he's trying to get him to uh, investigate a case. There's a uh, murder has happened, two murders have happened, and they murdered the whole family, two families. 
and they want uh, Crawford wants Graham to investigate the murders and find the killer. So uh, we learn that um, he was uh, attacked by Hannibal Lecter uh, previously, I guess, um, and he has a big scar on his body, and he is not doing any crime. He's not investigating crimes or anything. His wife doesn't want him to do it. Uh, we meet his wife there, and there's lots of uh, dialogue back and forth, and yeah. So it seems pretty interesting. Um, there are two murders that he's trying to figure out, and at the end, his wife says, okay, but keep him safe. So, yeah, so he's going to go with Crawford, and he's going to go try to find the killer. So, yeah, pretty interesting, very fast-paced. It was, like, dog, mostly dialogue back and forth, talking back and forth. So, yeah, so I might read this one. It's kind of fast. I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's that. Okay, book number four is a new author to me. Um, this one was a very fast paced. It was six pages, the first chapters, and I love short chapters. So, yeah, I picked a new author, and uh, this is book one of a series. And the book that I chose was Killing Floor by Lee Child. This is the book. So, we meet Jack Reacher, um, and he is sitting in a diner eating his breakfast and yeah we're in Georgia and all of a sudden these policemen come charging him with guns and they arrest him uh, for murder <laughs> um, he doesn't talk reach um, Jack doesn't talk uh, throughout the first chapter um, they read him his rights he doesn't say anything at the end of the first on page six at the end he says that he didn't kill anybody and at least he didn't kill anybody recently <laughs> yeah so yeah so they arrested him so I like to see what's going on with this one it seems very fast-paced and I love that the chapters are very short so we'll see if I read this one <laughs> okay the last book that I chose is an author that I read before he is a very very popular author he writes horror and he also has lots of movies out and I chose a Stephen King book. I chose Mr. Mercedes. I had this on my sh my TBR for a long, long time. I read the first chapter. It's 12 pages long. Uh, at first, we meet a guy named August, and he is um, trying to get a job. Uh, so there's a job fair that's going on, and somehow um, it's uh, you have to wait in line. They're giving out a thousand jobs. So, um, so he gets there and he is like halfway through the line and he's standing in line. Meanwhile, the whole time he's standing in line, like more people arrive and there's like 400 people, uh, waiting in line to, for this job fair. But it seems like the job fair doesn't open until the next day or something. So there it's at nighttime and he's standing in line waiting. Apparently in front of him is a woman who has a baby. So, yeah, so you get, um, you get involved emotionally with the woman with the baby, um, because the baby starts crying and he starts to help her and she had, she couldn't find a babysitter. So she's standing in line trying to get a job. She is alone. She does not have, um, any, um, family or no, um, spouse. Um, and August doesn't have a spouse either. He's been divorced. So they're standing in line waiting and, um, she has to feed the baby. The baby has to uh, have a diaper change, whatever. And, uh, all of a sudden there's lights that are coming and they see a Mercedes Benz. Um, and they're like, why is a Mercedes Benz coming to this job fair? This is for people who don't have jobs and they thought it was maybe the mayor or something. And all of a sudden the car starts going, driving into them and there's oh people uh, body parts are going all over it's like very traumatic and um 
I really don't know if August survives or not um, because they, it just ends and then uh, the next chapter says about the detective. So I don't know. I like to read on just to see because um, I was like invested in his story and like why he was standing there or whatever. So yeah. So this is pretty interesting and I may continue on with this one. Okay, oh my god, I don't know which one to choose. <laughs> um, I definitely will be continuing on with the Heather Graham book. Um, this seems very interesting. Lots of stuff happening in the first chapter, and I like to find out more. And it's about ghosts, so I may use this one for my uh, new-to-me author. So that's that one. Um, I also liked... Um, I'm looking, I'm looking at the books. Um, I also liked um, Killing Floor was pretty interesting. Like, he gets um, arrested, and I thought that was pretty interesting that he did not kill anybody recently, but he did kill somebody in the past because he is a military person or something, or he is a, I don't know what he is. Um, oh, he's a uh, ex-military policeman. Yeah, so I thought that was pretty interesting and very fast paced this was very short chapters uh yeah page six was six six pages for a chapter so that seems very interesting um the mr mercedes was like very interesting uh yeah i like to uh, make maybe continue this one um and i also liked hannibal lecter um this one was very fast paced as well i like the writing style so we'll see if i when i if i can finish all these the only one i didn't really like was uh, odd thomas uh because it was very very similar to this one so yeah so i may pick this one i, I may put this on the back burner i definitely still want to read it but um it might not be read in march so yeah so i have like four very good books right here yeah, very hard to choose. Actually, five, very good. I think this one's really good, too. But I don't know. This might be put back on my shelf. So, yeah. Very, very good. Um, yeah. So, this was very hard. And now I want to read all of them. So, like, very hard uh, tag to do. So, anyway, thank you for watching. And I will see you in another video. Bye.